Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another garden video. So if you are not tired of the seeds yet, we're doing more seeds. So in my last milkweed seed video, um, I did a whole video on planting milkweed seeds. I planted a milkweed plant last year before this, for the winter, before the frost. Um, and I told you all about milkweed for monarchs. And then last week I planted a whole bunch of milk jugs with milkweed seeds. And then earlier today I planted two of these seed trays. So in addition to the milkweed, I also want to plant these two packets of seeds, probably not all of them, I highly doubt all of them, that I got from Giverne in um, France from Mommy's home. So one is of Cosmos and one is of Chrysanthemums. So I'm not 100% sure how these are going to go because they are postcards. And so short of the name in the top right corner and the fact that there's seeds in here, they really don't have a uh, growing instructions. Now, if you watched, I did a whole video um, on all of the gardening souvenirs that mom and I bought on our European cruise. I actually bought a big packet of seeds that I'm going to direct sow in my raised beds, and those had more instructions. And what they said was either direct sow them or start them in seed packs surface sow them, keep them moist, and then plant them out once the temperatures get warm. Ideally, you want to put them in seed trays inside eight weeks before your last frost. So that is fairly typical for seeds. The main thing that we need to know is, of course, planting depth, and it does not say that. But general rule of thumb is the smaller the seed, the higher up it needs to be, and these are all feel very small. So we're going to try surface sowing them since that is what we're doing with the milkweed seeds and see how that goes. But I have three trays left, so I think I'm gonna do another tray of milkweed, one of cosmos and one of chrysanthemums, and then I'll save the rest of the seeds. If this works, we might do more next year or we might try direct sowing them next year. But I don't need, you know, this is 12 seeds in one tray. I don't need a whole army of them at once. So we're going to get started. Our little seed trays are from Hattie Gym. They sent them to me to try. I'm very excited. They're very small, but that's what I was looking for. I don't have a big um, seed starting set up anywhere. And they have row lights that go, oh no. Keep those in our box. That was scary. Um, they have row lights that snap into the top humidity dome. So we have a humidity dome, we have our actual seed layer, and then we have a bottom layer where you can bottom water these. So they're very tiny, but that means I have five of these trays, they come in a five pack, and I can keep them you know, on my kitchen counter or in a spare bedroom. With the grow lights, they will be self-sufficient. And I don't have to have a whole tray set up giant thing because I don't have room for that. Now, maybe one day when I get the shed set up, I would, but I don't have power in the shed. So unless I can put them directly in a window and they get enough sun, the grow lights are a big help. So we're gonna give these a try. I've never tried them before, but I'm excited to see how they do. And I wanted to try them with a few different seeds. So don't let me down only have so many seeds from Giovanni. I don't want to mess any of them up, but we're going to get started by filling these with dirt. So let's do that first. Ta-da! All right, so we've got everything filled and pre-moistened. I'm going to start with our milkweed, our last set of these. This is the last milkweed I'm planting this year. If you didn't check out that video, we are not covering these. We're going to put four per spot and we will keep them moist until they germinate. The, the milkweed seeds that I um, started in the milk jugs with our winter sowing method have already started to sprout because I did those about two weeks ago. 
and I updated y'all in that milkweed seed video. So I will link that below if you want to go check it out and you can see what these seeds look like when they've started to germinate. Because I was shocked that these had to be surface sown. I would have paid money to think that these needed to be covered with how big they are. That is the difference in seeds. You never know. Every time you think you've got it figured out, that's a lot of seeds. Down, girls, it's okay. Bitty bitty, my Yorkie is out here with me, but the um, the dachshunds can see me, they can't get to me. They're in the backyard, they're not thrilled. All right. This is a garden marker so that as I missed these seeds, I never have to worry about our label running. I'll just use a spray bottle to keep these moist inside, but no reason not to use the big mister while I've got it out here. There we go. One and done. All right, so let's do chrysanthemums next. I don't want to destroy this picture. They're pretty and I might use them for something, so see if we can't cut just a little bit get the seeds out that way Ooh, those are tiny and that is all that was in there so there's probably a couple left but that's the majority so definitely surface sewing these That is two and everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. That was, we still have quite a few. All right, got them all back in. We'll go ahead and probably tape this and then we'll see, cause if I, if I were to frame this or something, you wouldn't even see that cut, which was the goal. So, Put it back in our box, straight up and down until I tape it. And I'm just gonna label this mums. Because if I write chrysanthemums, that'll be the whole darn tack. I think I might get some big rubber bands to hold everything together. We'll see. I'm going to be putting them in one layer on my counter, so they might be fine. Can you imagine if I accidentally knocked this over and all my special gibber day seeds went everywhere? All right, so last but not least, we have our Cosmos. 
and I have no idea. You know, the picture here is this pretty pinkish purple color. I'm hoping that is what these are. Uh, Cosmos are pretty in any color, so I'll be happy if they just grow. Honestly, this is my first time starting these from seed. So again, if anything grows, I will be happy. Put two in each again. It's still pretty early in the season, so we might start some more of these. Maybe in some milk jugs or maybe direct seeded somewhere, but ideally, these seed trays, you know, you can grow as many as you want, and then I can plant them exactly where I want them. That's what I like to hear. All right. Double check I'm putting them back in the right packet. I don't want Cosmos in my Cosmos and my uh, chrysanthemums. All right. I might Google because Cosmos, these seeds look a lot like zinnias and zinnias need to be about a quarter inch down. So I'm going to Google for Cosmos seeds real quick if surface zone is best or if I should put some more soil over top. So I was right. Google says Cosmos seeds should be planted about a quarter of an inch deep. So we're just going to go in and put them in. They're pretty big seeds, so we should be able to tell where they are. It would be easier if I looked these things up like beforehand, but you know, we do things the hard way here. And there we go. I will take these inside. Turn on the grow lights. And then we will miss them once a day until we start to see growth. And once we start to see growth, we will start bottom watering them. And our little uh, grow lights just plug in all together. One big happy family. So we'll just plug this into an outlet and then set all five of them together to be turned on. And you can see the tops here do swivel, so if you want, you know, to let as much air in as possible, or you can close that. They are humidity domes, so you can see like this bottom one is closed that we already misted is really already starting to get humid, which when they're babies germinating is good, but if it's starting to get too humid in there, you can always let some more air in. Either way, I'm excited to see how these do. I will be back with plenty of updates as the seeds start to germinate and grow. And then we will do a whole new video on transplanting them once it is time to move out of these tiny seed trays into larger trays or into the ground, depending on how many leaves the pieces have by the time they need to be transplanted. They have two true leaves and it's warm enough. We may just plant them outside. So we'll just see. It's always touch and go. Either way, I'm pretty excited. I've never had cute little seed trays before. And I'm excited that this gives me the opportunity to start seeds inside without setting up a whole huge self, which is what I was afraid I was going to have to do. So we'll see if it's successful. If I love it, we may get a shelf anyways, but this first year, this is the perfect size for me. I will see y'all in the next video.